Joe showed a lot of his games so far, and this week he's actually played two of them. So, really good going by Goody. I'm glad he showed up. Uh, really nice to see him play. Even though his games can be a little bit little bit on the slow side, like Goody was quite popular for that in StarCraft 2 as well. well. I say popular, but quite infamous for it, I guess. Uh, Goody plays at his own pace, and you know what? I respect that. It's hard to uh, hard to play at a full speed a lot, and if you are just going to play defensive, you can win the game. It's not like you have to be aggressive to win. If you're like just starting out as well, maybe on the ladder, and you're really, really worried, uh, there's no need to be worried. Just play defensive, guys. Like... You may be called a turtling noob or something, but it doesn't matter. You're there to win the game, or at least enjoy it anyway. So just win it in any way possible. Like, if anything, them going DTs is more more wrong. Like, they should be playing defensive, you know? But, let's bring up the overlay. The overlay is all sorted out up here, so let me just bring on us, or bring us over to here. Let's have a look at who the players are going to be, and let's look at the map. So as you can see, we're going to have Dragon fighting Panaz at a 2-2, 50% win ratio at the moment, and Goody clawing his way back, only 25% win ratio so far. He does have 100% in PvP, but this is going to be a PvZ, uh, just race pickers. Broke my overlay again, I'm going to have to find a way to fix this. Uh, just because I want to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. But they are going to be playing this final game on Gladiator. Now, Gladiator on the ladder map pool now. So you should see it a lot. It's going to be in, uh, or it's in ASL as well. So you've probably seen it there. DVP very balanced on here so far. Uh, TVZ not so much. Uh, Zerg doing really, really well on this map. But the CVP is the stat we're looking for. Let's have a look at the game. And let's see how this series is going to end. Is Ash going to be able to get their first win? Let's actually just go back to this screen. Ash has not won yet in the uh, STPL. This is their big chance. And this is Naz's chance to get a little bit closer to going towards those playoffs. Let's see how this is going to go. Let's see how the game is. And let's finally get into our game. Okay, starting us off in the bottom left position, we do have the purple Zerg. Eon Zerg will be happy with this. It is going to be Dragon, fighting from the USA for Naz. And in the top right is his opponent, I believe, fighting for Germany. It's going to be Goody, fighting for Ash. Now, as I said before, Goody's games can be one of two things. Either very slow or very fast, but Dragon is quite an aggressive player, so we could actually see a little bit of a quicker game here. Hopefully it is going to be a fitting game of the Ace match. We've had some very, very cool games today. Uh, I don't know how many of you have joined me the whole way through, but much like you, Eskia, I, I have to go to work in nine hours, so uh, I'm going to look to get about six hours sleep and go from there. Uh, maybe seven hours. Hopefully seven hours, but you never know. Depends how long Goody wants to keep us in the game. We could see a two-hour EVP here, and I could be casting at 1.30 in the morning, slowly ruining the day I ever let Goody into the tournament. Or we could have a very quick game, or you know what? We could have a normal game, and I think we're going to have a normal game here. Uh, but we are going to see Gate first from Goody. He is going to be a little bit aggressive here, and this could be pretty good. And this is going to be 12 hatch, I believe, from Dragon, so pretty cool from him. Playing a little bit greedy, uh, going to send out a drone scout as well. Of course, he is going to see the probe here, so we'll know to go to the top right first. Uh, quite an important thing for him to do. Uh, just need to... Can you guys not hear the game audio? Okay, there was no game audio. That is really weird. The music kind of stopped. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have Dragon scouting out that top left base. He didn't actually tell where the probe was coming from. Had to double check. And it looks like we've got the hatchery. 
uh, well, the hatchery's there, of course. The spawning pool's coming up. No gas as of yet. Uh, Goody looks like he's going to add the forge. Wait. So Goody's not adding the forge as part of his wall. He's actually going to leave this wide open and get him all the forge in his name. Oh, this could be dangerous. But Zealot and a probe on the way. And here we go. It looks like we do have two. Oh man, is he gonna cannon rush? Goody is. Wait, 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 wait. Are the, are the accounts around the wrong way? Goody is cannon rushing. Dragon, this is the reason why 12 hatch is not that popular anymore. This gate first into cannon rush is very, very obnoxious to deal with. The probes have been pulled. If Dragon holds this, he could be in a good position. Creep Colony coming up right next to the cannon, so... And this is a lot of blinks. This should be enough to deal with it. Of course, can't cannon behind the minerals or anything. Uh, but these cannons trying to come up the zealots. Worth their weight in absolute gold here. The first cannon's gonna finish and go down immediately. And the second cannon finishes, but goes down immediately as well. And Goody, unfortunately, his complete uh, strategy has failed here. And he is going to have to fall back and rely on building cannons to defend. Uh, but here we go. It looks like we do have the Zerglings building up in numbers. Goody does not have a very good wall here. Uh, for someone called Goody, his wall is very baddy right now. We have a Nexus coming up. Gonna have to add on some cannons, but this may be a little bit too late. The Lings could get across the map here. Of course, there's no geyser, so there's no speed. Uh, but with this sunken, he's gonna be defend. Uh, he's gonna be defended at home. Gonna be able to drone up very, very quickly. And this could be the end of the game here. He's got three zealots. Uh, Pylon coming up here with a cannon, but the top of the wall is not ling tight. And he is going to be able to dance around this wall forever. But here we go, the Lynx moving in. They are getting on top of the Zealots. Trying to come in from the other side. Going to try and snipe the cannon. Of course, he doesn't have speed. So this isn't going to be as deadly as it could be. But Lynx, once again, getting in the main from Dragon. Dragon does a very, very good job of this. Every single ZVP I've seen him play. And with these Lynx in the main, Goody is going to have a lot of trouble. The Zealots, obviously, going to be able to chase these away until speed is done. Uh, we finally have a gas up, but there's going to be no mining on that just yet. So it's going to be a while before we really see Dragon being able to put on too much pressure, but nice pick off of that uh, probe there. Going to be able to look to try and snipe this cannon again. I know he's actually just going to run away with his Zerglings. I guess that is something. We actually have the third hatchery up here at the base now. Out of both of the other naturals, I'd say this is... Possibly a little bit further away, but of course uh, they are pretty much similar in distance. Uh, but here we go, we actually have Dragon has... Dragon's basically done what he needs to do. He's thrown up a hell of a lot. He's got his third base up. Of course there is going to be a, a probe that is going to scout this out. Goody could have also been going for a sort of hidden base or something down here, but these zealots are going to get here without any form of resistance whatsoever, and I get the feeling we are going to have a very, very scrappy PVZ here. This could be pretty dangerous for Goody to be doing, uh, but it looks like we do have some, uh, some links. There's not actually that many. There are going to be some links trying to come in to defend this, but Goody is going to be able to do a lot of damage down on this hatchery. He's going to be able to get the, link, uh, the zealots in a very good position as well. Is he going to right click on the hatchery? Is he going to try and take down the links? It looks like he's left one on the hatchery. No, he's pulling away, going back in, doing a little dance there to try and deal with the links. But this is a huge move by Goody. He has completely negated the damage he just took. And Dragon is going to find himself quite far behind now. And thank you for tuning in, Eskia, once again. Hopefully you enjoyed the cast, and hopefully you have a good night. I know it is quite late for you as well, so... And, uh, as with all our other European friends here, we're all getting quite late into the night. It is a work night, of course. It is Wednesday, it's not Friday, unfortunately, so we do all have to go to work tomorrow. Uh, but hopefully it's been worth staying up. There's been some very, very good games today. Uh, if you did miss any of them, you'll be able to check out the VODs on my YouTube channel afterwards. Uh, they'll probably go off on tomorrow evening. Uh, that'll be Monday's games and tonight's. I have a really nice uh, surround by Dragon. Going to take out all of the Zealots here. And once again, trading blows, losing the hatchery. 
it's a big deal. Uh, it does stop you getting the third base, but of course he did just trade 300 minerals, let's say, for about 600 minerals of uh, of uh, I knew it said of Germans <laughs> of salads. I don't know why I said Germans. Oh man, I'm losing my mind here. We're getting up to half eleven. 101 viewers, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the SCPL so far, but looks like we could be going into a little bit of a longer game. Third hatchery finally being added back on. Fire is up as well. Fourth hatchery coming in. And uh, 600 minerals of Germans did go down in that engagement. Uh, but yeah, looks like we have the probe scout around for any additional third bases. This is going to be a little bit easier for Dragon to defend, but it does stop him from being able to get that other main. Uh, so, a bit unfortunate there. Looks like the Overlord's going to move in. Scout that there is, in fact, Cannon still there, so the Mutilus are going to go around to the main instead. Uh, we do actually have a single Corsair on the map, but this isn't really going to be... Uh, isn't really going to be that much uh, damage that it can do to the Mulus. Of course, it's going to be good for scouting. Oh, did the Scourge see that? Scourge have a deceptively small sight radius. Uh, but the Corsair looks like he did actually see the Scourge. It knows it's going for the main, but does he know about the Mulus? He certainly does now. Another Corsair does come in, but that Corsair is going to go down. Nice Scourge pick off by that. And the Mulus is going to move in, try and do any damage that they can. And there is a lot of lings left out on the map. Looks like the scouting probe is going to get taken down as well. But this is the main story. Looks like the Mule is going to try and get into the natural. Going to try and do some damage. Going to try and go for the main now. He did, of course, get that cannon there. And it looks like he's going to get this uh, Corsair again. Nice movement on the Corsairs by uh, by Goody here. Going to try and camp the, uh, camp the cannon there. Uh, but here we go, we have a lot of lings moving into the front of the base. There is, of course, a lot of cannons here, a lot of zealots, or Germans, as we're calling them now. Um, uh, but Dragon doing a pretty good job here. Gonna use this view list the best he can. Can't really afford to throw them into too many engagements right now. They are quite heavily bruised. Uh, but while he is harassing with the view list, Goody cannot move out of his base. And it does mean he does get this third hatchery, or this fourth hatchery and fifth hatchery, and the third base, more importantly, up completely unhindered. Now, a goon it looks like it's got stuck outside the wall, but you know what? Well, here we go. We have zealots moving out. They're going to try and take down the lings. Uh, the about, I'd say about 75 minerals worth of Americans went down there. Uh, but the Germans doing a pretty good job in this game, pushing across. He does have plus one attack now, and the Corsair is doing a lot of damage as well. <laughs> and it looks like they've got the Germans have got leg speed, so that's certainly something. Uh, but here we go. It looks like he's scouted this third base now. It looks like he wants to move in before the Sunkens are done. This could actually do a lot of damage. The Americans going to hold the top of the ramp. The drones have actually been pulled away from the base, though. Gonna try and drill, does drill a little bit too far back, but this is good. Okay, I'm very, very confused by this drone drill. But you know what? He's doing a lot of damage to the zealots here. Uh, but this base looks like it could go down once again. Goody with some great zealot attacks here. There's nothing to attack the units that are for the mutants that are flying in the air. And that was a failed drone drill, as said. But this hatchery is gonna go down. There are some, uh, uh, some hydralists coming in behind this. Uh, but this should be enough damage. No, he's actually let go of the attack, let off the throttle. But is he going to get it anyway? Yes, he does! The hatchery goes down, but of course there is this other hatchery. So it's not too bad, but this is such a scrappy game. Oh my god, there's a zealot still here. How has it got away with this? It was hiding on top of the drone, mining the minerals with it. And uh, Fox Hand saying match fix. I really hope there is a. Uh... Okay. Dicky Boy, basically, a drone drill is when, uh, when you use drones and right click them on top of minerals or any workers. Uh, of course, when you're looking at workers' mine, you see as they glide through each other. When they're on the mining trait, so when they're actually clicked on a mineral, they lose all collision. So, what you can do is you can click on some minerals elsewhere. Uh, run your workers through the units 
and actually press stop on them to push all the units away. Uh, but unfortunately, he didn't do it very well there. So, uh, and it also stops the units pushing up because they get stuck and bugged out on all of the uh, workers that are trying to sort of fan out on top of them. Hopefully, <laughs> I just saw the name of that clip. Uh, looks like Goody's going to be taking this top left base though. And you know what, as I said, this is probably going to be a long PVZ. God speed, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming up to midnight for me, but it's worth it. I will go in tired to work tomorrow. It's all good. Oh my god, this is such a ballsy lurk morph. Oh no, there. Lurk morph. Right in front of all the units. These lurkers are all actually going to go down as soon as they spawn. And there we go. Cancelling a few of them. Going to lose a little bit of gas, a little bit of minerals from that. And here we go. We have some Scourge going down as well. And Goody is slowly starting to build up a decent army. He has plus one attack still. Um, Mutilus still trying to do what they can, of course. They have lost a lot of their utility, but they can go and snipe these High Templar. But it looks like they may get stormed. Oh, are they going to get the High Templar? Yes, they do. Really, really nicely done. He's going to get another one. Very nicely controlled here by Dragon. Get a storm. They're going to kill his own High Templar, but does lose a lot of the Mutilisks. And slowly but surely, Goody's going to be able to take a fourth base and find himself in a better position on the map now. One benefit of building the forge so far back is he does stop himself getting his forge sniped. Uh, but still... Oh, wait, were the probes there? Man, I completely missed the probes. Like, I've been casting now for so long, it's been three... Oh, I can't actually tell. It's been three and a half hours now. This is the longest STPL day I've ever had. And you know what? It's been well worth it. We've had some very, very entertaining games. So here we go. Goody looking to move out. Dragon has a lot of units, so he's going to take position on his pizza wedge. The pepperoni has landed on the slice. Uh, the black pepperoni, anyway. Uh, looks like it's got off a little bit, but they're going to be able to defend that little wedge of the map. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Red Warrior, you're so funny. But here we go. Mutant is actually moving in on the fourth base. Uh, there's no fourth base there yet, but they're going to go down. And Dragon is slowly but surely losing his position in the game. But as I say that, he gets a massive army. He is pushing up a lot of the units out of position here. But there's a lot of units. A big, big storm as well. I almost feel like Dragon should push the main. There's nothing here defending, but of course he does not know that. Uh, but with all of the units up here for Goody, he's going to find his uh, army completely <laughs> completely trapped here. And Goody is doing a good job holding onto his bases. This is what Goody is known for. He is the unbreakable Protoss. He will not die. And he is certainly making good use of that here. Now Observer is going to come in. Get around him to eventually push out of his own third base. But the difference is... Compared to like a main base, he doesn't have anything reinforced in this. A nice storm dodge! Look at that! But really, really good job by Dragon here. Splitting perfectly. And it looks like he may actually be able to break through this army of Goody here. Now, of course, there is another massive group of units back here trying to defend. And Dragon is up in supply now. So, Dragon doing an incredibly good job. Goody, his macro has faltered just a little bit. He's higher up in bases. But he's queuing on a lot of his production facilities. Looks like we actually have a fourth base coming up for Dragon. Dragon, unfortunately, uh, getting some of his units baited in. Uh, but the upgrades are 1-0 for the uh, Zerg player. And I believe 1-0 is still for the Protoss. Do have the Forge upgrade in plus 2. Do we have another upgrade? Yeah, we do. We have plus 1 Carapace. Coming up for the Zerg, we have, or for Dragon. Uh, we have the Hive, uh, the Hive coming in. Hydra Stan, of course, been up for a while, and slowly but surely, Dragon is building a big, big army. Uh, so here we go. It looks like we do have the Lurkers slowly leapfrogging forward. It's going to be hard for them to really do too much against the cannons. But as I said, Goody is focusing on a lot of production over at this base. And not really able to produce much in his main at the moment. He's really broke. It's like he's lost a lot of probes, but he hasn't. And I think it's because he's queuing up. And because he's queuing, like, he can't actually build out of all of his gateways. It's 
It's really confusing to see this. Has he fixed it? No. Uh, but Goody's doing a pretty good job here. He's going to be able to hold onto his uh, onto his third and fourth base. And of course his second main if he does so choose to play Refugee Protoss over there. Uh, but this gateway... I mean, he's adding more pylons on here. He's actually nearly supply blocked. Uh, but yeah, Zero says Goody is on four gases now. That is going to be a lot of money. Uh, Dragon, of course, going to be going up to four gas as well. But the trouble is, Dragon has not been able to secure another main base yet. So it's going to be quite difficult for him. Uh, this Corsair finally finding these two overlords. Uh, but this is going to go into a little bit of a passive game here. And we are going to have some creep colonies added on. The important move for Dragon is to actually secure this base. Like, he knows that Goody's army's up here. He knows that there's not many units over here. Why is he not securing this base? That is a very, very good question. But thank you for the follow. Hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. But uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a passive game at the moment. Dragon... Not really wanting to push in. He knows that there's a lot of Storm, a lot of High Templars here. No energy upgrade on the High Templar though. Uh, but plus one armor is done for the Protoss player now as well. Uh, so we should have plus two attack coming in very shortly. Yes, we do. Now, interestingly, Goody did go for plus one armor first before plus two attack. Now, I do wonder if it is because he's playing a little bit more of a defensive style. He's sitting behind a lot of cannons. I mean, we're hitting 20 minutes into the game. I don't think... After the initial opening, Goody's really moved out too much on the map. Of course, he did take out the third base a couple of times. But after that, uh, Goody's kind of found himself trapped in the main. Like, uh, we do have 2-1 now done for the Zerg player. Uh, the, the upgrade advantage actually going for the Zerg here. Defiler's coming up as well. And when these Defiler's come in, when this Consume comes in... He is going to be able to swarm those cannons and he will be able to break through this, I believe. He'll have to be careful, though. But one thing Dragon does need to make, watch out for is there is slowly starting to be another army over here on the right side of the map. A lot of it actually stuck in the main base. So where are... Oh, I see a double Stargate. Goody's going carrier, guys. I'm almost certain. But there's no fleet beacon. Where's the fleet beacon, Goody? Come on. Go carriers. you got to do it. You're on full gas, man. Just just go carriers. Or is he going to go two Stargate Corsair? I really don't know. I'm looking everywhere for this uh, this fleet beacon, but it's just not here. It looks like a single Dragoon just completely uh, assassinates that Lurker there. Like, as I said before, like I said before the game, Goody takes Starcraft at his own pace. He plays at around 140 APM. Dragon's APM is usually a little bit higher, uh, but it looks like he's kind of not really got too much to do. Oh, but this is actually a big move. There's not really that many units out on the map here for Dragon. He's sending a lot of his units up to the top middle. There is a Defiler here. Oh, a Storm goes down. Wait, how the hell did that not go off on that Defiler? But really, really nice moves. Nice Storm does get the Defiler now. And Goody pulling back into his main. Now, of course, he does have the... Oh, Dragon actually running into the storm. This is a big deal. He's losing a lot of units up here. And Goody, of course, still retains his standing army. We have no additional Corsairs being built out of that uh, Stargate. Uh, but here we go. It looks like we do have the push coming in for Dragon. Of course, uh, Dragon can't attack the Dragoons under the swarm either. But the Ling's going to be able to do a lot of damage to these cannons. A nice storm does go down. Can't really see how much damage this is doing. But I mean, Goody is doing a very, very good job here. He is not called the Panzer General for nothing. He is very, very defensive. He's holding on barely. But Ling's getting into his third base. A big army, though, coming in from behind. Going into the Zerg's fourth. Well, I don't even know what base this is now. But the Mineral only... Storming the Lurker on top of the Pizza Wedge as well. Going to be able to pull back. But his third base has... Near, well, I'd say his third base has nearly gone down, funnily enough. There is two Hydros. He needs to get that on the Swarm. Uh, but this is a lot of damage being done to the Zerg army. 
Goody is doing an incredible job right now. His bank is going up and up and up. And looks like we have the third base is going to get busted now. With this, so is the fourth base. And this is a base Goody cannot afford to lose. A huge storm going down on a lot of the lurkers here. Managing to hold on by the skin of his teeth. But two lurker kills on that one. One on that one. And Goody is sending more and more of his units to come back to defend. But these Zergs have crackling upgrade. Adrenaline. And they are going to be moving in. Trying to clear up as much of this as they can. Uh, Goody has lost his third base now. He doesn't have another third on the way as of yet. And GG! Goody realizes he can't pull back from this situation. And Dragon will win the game in the ace match. Really, really nicely played game by both of them there. Surprisingly, a lot of action, like a lot of goodies games, as I have said before, are quite not boring. I'm not going to say boring. He just plays at his own pace. He doesn't really attack too often. Uh, he does go into a big bank and sort of plays it that way. Uh, but that was a really, really cool game. And you know what? That's actually going to round us off for the evening. I'm going to bring up the results screen. Bring up what the next uh, games are going to be. And uh, let's actually head on over to the overlay for one last time this evening. I did manage to finish before midnight. A longest STPL they have had so far. Some great games. And it's been a lot of fun. Let's just quickly report this game. Give the win to Dragon and to Naz. Let's hit the save button. And let's bring up this result screen. Thank you once again for tuning in. I'll say my thanks properly at the end. But as you can see, we had Goody and Ter taking the first two games. But Batorsai and Dragon pulling it back in the ace match. Really, really nicely done by him. And Naz are going to go up 2-2, two, 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 possibly 3-2, three, I think. No, it'll be 2-2 two, two in the SCPL. Uh, let's actually have a quick look. I'll show the table off next time. But the next games we're going to see is on Friday uh, from Group A. We're going to see Team Liquid Staff versus SK Bravo. And from Group B, we're going to see Soul Gaming versus Foreign Brood War All Stars. That's going to be a lot of fun. And next week, we're moving in to week six of the STPL. So two weeks left of round one. Uh, playoffs after this, obviously. But DM versus Net Wars, Clan Revolution versus Naz. SK Alpha versus SK Bravo and White Clan versus Foreign Brutal All Stars. That should be a lot of fun. And you know what? This should be a lot of cool games coming your way. Of course, Brood War isn't over. Uh, coming up just after this, probably in a couple of hours, you do have the Pylon show with Artosis at In Control. And whichever guests they've got, do tune into that and watch the VOD. That's been pretty good so far. I don't really like StarCraft 2, but I've enjoyed listening to them. And they did give me a shout out last week, so thank you very much to them. And of course, on Saturday we will have the Bombastic Star League. That's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be hosted by Mr. Zero himself, Zero PL. And not to forget, the first BSL Chobo League cast will be done tomorrow by Vincent, another German. Uh, I believe he's German anyway. He is going to be casting tomorrow, uh, I believe, 2100 CEST, but check in the thread for details. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. Do tune into that, guys. Support Vincent as well. He's a really cool caster. And it's really cool to see more and more people getting into the group scene, getting into casting. And on Sunday, we're going to have the People Spawn Bang and, of course, ASL on Sunday morning. That'll be the third set of the round of eight. So that should be a lot of fun. Thank you very much all for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, let me just bring it back to the camera. Have a good evening, have a good night, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, wherever you are, and I will see you again on Friday. See you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, and of course, thank you to the donators and the players. Uh, please do tune in next time, and we will see you then. Have a good day. I've just said that already. Either way, good night all. Thanks for tuning in.